The Toronto Maple Leafs have the day off after a 3-2 overtime loss to the Florida Panthers yesterday. The sting of the loss made worse by some taunting. Oh, how the tables have turned. Panthers fans mocking Leafs fans after they chanted, we want Florida in hopes of an easy second round. But Sam Reinhart's game-winning goal last night has pushed the Leafs to the brink of elimination with the Panthers leading 3-0 in the best of seven series. Game four is scheduled for Wednesday and the uphill battle already has some Leafs fans online throwing in the towel. Joining us now to talk more about the renewed Leafs panic is Kevin McGran, hockey writer for the Toronto Star. Kevin, if we look at their playing so far this series, can the Leafs win four in a row to avoid elimination? Well, they think they can, and, and I guess that's really all that matters. Whether we think they can or fans think they can is sort of immaterial. They did win three in a row against Tampa to take the last three games and win that series. And, of course, this team has had streaks of four games. Oh, I think they had two winning streaks of four games in a row and one of five in a row in the regular season. So they have it in it. It's just... Do they have the will to go along with the skill to pull it off? What, what we've seen is their will isn't all, isn't all that strong. And, ta and Florida is a, a force to be reckoned with, Some, something that maybe people have taken lightly. But now they have won six in a row, three against Boston and three against Toronto. And that's pretty impressive. And of course, there's already talk from fans online about rebuilding. Do you think that's where the Leafs team is headed if they fail to make it out of the second round? Well, let's put it this way. If they go out in four straight, it's more likely. If they manage to make a series of it and stretch it to six or seven, maybe they'll, they'll salvage their dignity. But certainly, certainly a, a lot of people, including their ownership, will be looking to make changes because it's sort of the rinse and repeat with these guys. Uh, have a great regular season and then just kind of look lost. And when I say look lost, I mean the, the four big players. John Tavares, Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, and William Nylander. Um, Nylander less so. He was actually a little bit good. and um, They just look lost in the playoffs. Like They don't know what to do. They don't know how to play. They want, it to make it look, they want the game to look easy, and it's not. They have to play a simple game. So whether it's time to start over, I, I think that's perhaps too much to ask or too much to expect. But whether the GM keeps his job and whether the coach keeps his job and they come at it with a different approach, I think that's probably a, a fair question to ask. As you said, the Leafs' big four are struggling to make the necessary plays against Florida. Will lineup changes be needed to make it out of the series? Well, he, the coach, Sheldon Keefe, doesn't have a lot of options about changing the lineup. He can... He can change the lines. He can move this player in for that player, play one guy up, one guy down. But ultimately, the success of this team has to come down to those four players. Austin Matthews has to score. William Nylander has to score. John Tavares has to score. Uh, Mitch Marner doesn't really have to score, but he does have to set up those three guys. They need to get some power plays where they can get their game going and get their confidence going. It comes down to those four players, who their other line mates with is kind of immaterial. Ultimately, do you think it seems worse when the Leafs go wrong because the fans have so much faith in them? Well, I mean, the, the Leafs are, they're, they're kind of the, um, to say things are very leafy, that's a very leafy way of, think, of doing things, that's what people say. And if you think about it, they finally won a round and they're on the brink of getting swept in four games by the Florida Panthers. That's a very leafy thing for them to do, finding new and creative ways to disappoint their fan base um, and to cause angst and to, to create this, this, there's an aura about them because they're the Maple Leafs, their fan base is so big. There's an aura about them because they have so much talent these days, but there's also an aura about them because they just mess up. They just, they they do it to themselves really and they don't quite know how to handle it and and i feel sorry for their fans they're they're faithful they're loyal they spend an awful lot of money on this team and you just know their buddies who hate the leafs are just going to be giving it to them for the next 365 days thanks so much for joining us kevin all right good luck